Thank you very much. A wonderful audience here. Just terrific, thank you. Listen, we've got a wonderful entertainer for you right now. He happens to be a member of the board of directors of the Magic Castle in Hollywood. And he's been so for 12 years on that board and knows an awful lot about magic. A terrific entertainer. Please welcome Mr. Ron Wilson. Thank you all. What's your name? Elaine. Elaine and Phil. And Phil. I'm Ron, and I'm from Scotland, as you can tell, with a funny accent and <laughs> a funny jacket. Have you ever seen one of these before, Elaine? No. It's a, it's a purse, but this is a Scotsman's purse. So it's a wee bit different. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lots of places for money that I don't have. <laughs> but I do have a few odds and ends here. Copper coin. An old copper coin. Have you ever seen one like that before, Elaine? No. Well, it's uh, most people call it an English penny. I call it a British penny, because I'm a Scotsman. <laughs> no, there's a wee bit of a difference. <laughs> Could I have your hand, please? Your left hand. There you go. Now, all I have is this copper coin. I'm going to give it to you, but first of all, I'll give it a little wiggle in my finger, just to get it going. <laughs> when it hits your hand, close your hand quickly and turn your hand very good. Have you ever done this before, Elaine? No. <laughs> OK, I want you to do it again, but I want you to do it a lot faster. It's like a reaction test. Get the idea? Turn your hand over. Here we go. Open your hand. <laughs> it's easier to get it out. Yeah. <laughs> all right. As soon as it hits your hand, grab it quickly. You can do better than that. Doesn't take the ladies long to figure out this like that. All right, the copper coin, enter your hand, close your hand, put your hand down like that. If you got it, give it a squeeze. I'm going to take it out. You won't feel a thing. And to do that, I need another gimmick. I need another coin, and I have another one. This one's different. This one's a silver coin. And when I say silver, I mean silver. That's one of the good ones. Oh. Before we got on the counterfeit ones. Do you recognize that one? Uh, 50 cent piece? That's right. That's one of the ones when they had the bell on the front and uh, Franklin on the back. <laughs> Silver half dollar right here. Now, what I do is I throw up my left hand and tap yours. Did you feel that? Watch. Mm -hmm. Funny thing happens. I get the penny. Turn your hand over and see what you have. <laughs> and you have. <laughs> Hey, you're a good group. <laughs> this is my wee deck of cards, and I use wee cards because I'm kind of a wee fella. <laughs> Fifty-two wee ones right here. Like all the magicians, I start off with a shuffle. That's what they say, always shuffle the cards. It's very important. <laughs> Not too honest, but... Uh, it's a good shuffle. It's kind of an old-fashioned shuffle. It mm -hmm. is a pretty good shuffle. Let's see, I'm going to have someone in the audience just say stop while I move the card. Gentlemen, right here. When I do this, I want you to say stop. Any time at all. Right there, have a look at the card. Don't forget the card, right? How would you like to shuffle them for me? Mix them up. I want to see what kind of a card player you are. <laughs> I just found out. Pull. <laughs> Face up. That's all right. Do you know Face any, up. No, no. Do you know any tricks? Sure, a few. <laughs> uh, right. I'm going to teach you a little card trick. Okay. You're going to find this gentleman's card all by yourself. Right? Okay. Well, first of all, you won't forget the card. Or did you see it? I didn't see you it. You didn't see it? <laughs> You're going to have a tough job finding it. <laughs> it was the four of spades. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's always easy to know what the card is. Finding it is the hard part. If I had my glasses, it might be easy, but I don't. <laughs> well, I know how to find it. All I do is squeeze them. Two hands, 52 wee cards. I put them together and squeeze them. Watch closely like that. A little squeeze. Make them bigger. <laughs> so make them into. <laughs> Actually, there's a reason for using big cards. Because when you use the big cards like this, you can always find the wee ones. If you're lucky. See, they're smaller than the big ones. That's how you find them. <laughs> Quite a difference, isn't there? Yes. Yeah. It is. <laughs> you know, this always leaves me with a wee bit of a problem. Not the joker, that's no problem. I don't need that. This one wee one. You see, I'm a thrifty Scot. And I don't like my deck to be one card short. You understand. Mm -hmm. You do? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> so I've been working on this problem, and I think I've finally come up with a solution. See, I find if you hold the wee one like this. Now you chose, sir, the four of spades, right? right. Could have been the jack of diamonds or the nine of hearts or any card. If you take the four of spades like this, give it a little flick, 
turn it over, it becomes a big one. Uh -huh. oh. Just like our lunch. And if you'll put the cards back in the box, I'll show you another. Oh. <laughs> That's difficult. I've been working on this one for a long time. And this Do you like tricks? Yes. You like card tricks, especially? Mm -hmm. right, very good. Have you ever seen the poker players shuffle the cards? They always do like this. Because they don't trust each other. That's sort of thing. Oh. If I was going to say to you, take a card, you might think later on, that I wanted you to take a specific card. And I don't want any thoughts of that at all. So I'm going to s spread the deck. Take a card, any one you like. The only thing is I don't want you to take a face card. If it's a face card, put it back. Have a look at it. Did you get <laughs> Yeah. There's a penalty. Yeah. I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> okay. Yeah, very good. The reason I said that is so you have a lot of white space. I want you to sign your name on the face of the card. But don't let me see the card, all right? Okay. Name and phone number. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to get into trouble with you yet. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> right, this is so there's only one card in the waddle that has your signature on it. Put the card down so I can't see it, and I'll pass it over here. Watch I don't peek. Do the same thing. Turn it over. Sign your name in large letters. <laughs> First time in showbiz? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's a lot of fun. Okay. Very good. I'd like you to show the card to the folks and to the camera. So everybody will be able to recognize again. I won't look. Ready? Here we go. And when you've done that, put it down so I can't see it. Put it back in the deck somewhere while I just riffle like that. Very good. Don't forget your card. I'm going to try. <laughs> <laughs> I've forgotten it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look you right in the eye and say, right now, I have a funny feeling it was a red card. It's a funny feeling. It's not always it's right. Funny. <laughs> Sometimes. Tell me the truth, Elaine. If I say you took a red card, would that be correct? Yes, that would be correct. If I said it was a heart, would that be correct? No, that would be incorrect. If I said it was a diamond, would that be correct? Yes, that would be I correct. I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to cut the cards, Elaine, but be very careful how you cut. Like, don't squeeze the Charmin. Very important. <laughs> Go ahead, cut the cards and complete the cut. That's right, all of these on top. All right, now there's an easy way and a hard way to find your card. The easy way is to look for a card with writing, mm -hmm. obviously. The hard way, if I could do like this, spread out the deck and say, that was your card right there, that would be pretty good, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You're right, I can't do it, but it would be pretty <laughs> good. <laughs> good Actually, the hard way, the real hard way is to do like this, make your card jump out the deck, go all the way around the studio and land in my <laughs> wallet. You see, your card is now in my wallet. Did you like that trick? Oh, that's great. <laughs> I know, you want to see my yes. everybody else. Oh, yes. Over here. Now, I've never talked to you folks before, is that correct? That's true. This is not a set-up thing at all, it's magic. Inside my wallet. Not there, that's a good <laughs> oh. the credit card. You see this zippered pocket? Inside mm -hmm. is your card. As a matter of fact, in the zippered pocket, I have an envelope. Sealed <laughs> with sealing wax. <laughs> See, it has my W. Now, watch I don't go sneaking anything inside. <laughs> OK, I, we will. I <laughs> wouldn't do that. I wouldn't cheat you folks. Can, I... can you see something inside? Yes. Through, <laughs> through the light, Ev. I'm mm -hmm. sure you can. Sure. Now, as you took the card, I want you to take the envelope, take it out, mm -hmm. show surprise, <laughs> show it to the camera, show it to the folks, and I'll uh... say that's <laughs> the end. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much.